JReport supports over 100 types of charts, and each can be built through the Chart Wizard. Whether it is a simple pie chart or two different chart types combined, JReport Designer can help you build it. The chart we see here is a combination chart that shows our company's percent of growth as a line chart and stacks the 2007 and 2008 sales figures as a bar chart. The percent growth line chart uses the vertical axis on the right side of the chart and the sales bar chart uses the vertical axis on the left side of the chart. They share the horizontal axis. Let's take a look at how this combination chart was built in JReport Designer. The first thing we specify in all new reports is the type of report layout. In this case, we'll select Chart Report. JReport Designer requires access to the data source so that it can explore and identify the internal data structures and provide the appropriate data presentation recommendations. We'll select an imported SQL script from which the report will be populated. When the report is run, it will access real-time data pulled by JReport Enterprise Server. We select the combo chart type, after which we will need to specify the primary and secondary axes. For the primary axis, we'll select a stacked bar chart and a line chart for the secondary axis. Next, we specify the data elements that the charts will show. In this case, we have predefined summaries that calculate the 2007 and 2008 sales and percent growth, which we specify accordingly. While creating reports, you also have the capability to add filters and specify layout information. For this particular report, we don't need to use these features. For the look and feel of the report, we select the JReport demo style and then click Finish to have the wizard generate the initial chart. What we see here is just a placeholder because we are in design mode which simply acts as a template. We will preview the report in a moment to see the chart rendered with the actual data. But before previewing, we need to specify some format details that were not available to us in the wizard, such as shorter axis labels and a new label outside the chart to communicate the units being shown in the chart. We will change the number format from the default to a dollar amount and return to design mode. You can also format the appearance of the chart, and in this case, we will select a circle as a style for the line node. Finally, we can preview the chart by switching over to view mode. 